Hello everybody, welcome back to another Total War League video. This time a big, big matchup to juggernauts of Total War League. It is Moore and Ragnar. Ragnar, he had a great season, only three defeats, finds himself as the third seed. As here he is with the red Saba banners going up against Moore, who just had a fantastic series victory against Saga, if you remember. They're both Saba, so they will see a lot of each other. Here is Moore's army. Sabian Camel Cataphracts, three of them, and the Marib Camel Cataphract General. Some Axe Marauders, that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's, as they say, a lot of damage. Two Desert Spearmen on each flank, with some Desert Levy in the center. Tribes people, those are uh, your Velite type troops. They throw Pillum. And uh, it's going to be an interesting matchup as he's facing a lot, a lot of cavalry and more slingers, more arrow. Here is Sir Ragnar. Sabian's at the front, three of them, a fourth in the back. Marib General, two armored camel spearmen, two swords. Let's see here, some Gat Marauders, four in the center, three slingers, and two desert spearmen. As you can see, there's only six minutes on the clock. So this is going to be swift. This is going to be quick, or as uh, they do say in the Empire, it's going to be a lot of damage as we listen to the troops muster and march. The balance of power leaning in the favor of more. We'll see what he can do here. And uh, if you're new to Rome 2, Saba probably... Uh, actually, I take it back. Definitely the best land battle faction. These cataphracts, the camel cataphracts, especially those Marib, I don't know if they're broken, but they are incredibly overpowered. They they charge in, they they take Pillum, they come out with only losing one or two. It's uh it's if there was ever an update to Rome 2, I would not mind them updating and nerfing those camel cataphracts. They're so good. Look at the stats. 100 health, 90 armor. Mind you, this unit costs 1000. It might be, I know it's under 1100, it's about 1000. And look at that, just insane stats, 68 charge bonus. So if you really, really wanna uh, make your opponent upset, definitely just spam Cataphracts, these Sabians or the Marib. I think uh, in the Emperor versus Waffle, take on randoms, Waffle brought a bunch of these uh, Cataphracts and it wasn't even close, it wasn't even fair, so just, just something to think about. You could also bring, you know, balanced builds like this and just have a field day. It does certainly a lot of damage. As Ragnar taking his time, more coming in. This is going to be hard hitting. Probably going to be a forfeit, I'm assuming. Only four minutes on the clock. I don't think you can annihilate an army in four minutes. But maybe I will be proven wrong. Maybe that'll be the, uh, the, this will be the fruitful day for Total War League as now we see some slinger fire from Ragnar but more wasting no time he's under fire and he's going to push immediately well it looked like a push but he stops a little bit a little bit of a shift from Ragnar this could be good for more catch his troops off balanced he is going to get in there's a super shift by both enemies here comes the first strike swords into spears Camel Cataphracts of Ragger at the ready. These guys are going to melt. This is going to be the biggest melt of all time, as it is Ragnar who gets the first charge. Decimating the Desert Levy down to 25. That's a lot of damage. They're both in here. The left flank not utilized yet. See what happens here. Who's going to get the better charge? As those levy getting charged by the Gamerouters, there's a big hit from the armored Camel Spearman into the Desert Spearman, killing 20. As the Sabians are in, there's a lot of damage. There's a route. Ragnar Sabians going down in the center, 15. They're not quite gone yet. Here comes, here comes the General the Marib, trying to take care of some business, not getting the best hit. But he is involved. These Camel Spearmen doing a good job. More at the ready. This is just action-packed, lots going on. The Slinger's firing upon the Cataphracts, definitely targeting uh, those Cataphracts. Good unit to target with your Slingers. And here comes another big hit, charging the backs of his own troops. It, it can be effective at times, it certainly can be. 
But uh, looks like it was a little bit effective there as he is taking down that Sabian. But Ragnar in a nice charge there as the micro is going nuts. Cataphrax, brilliant charge. It was armor to kill Spearman and a double hit. That's a lot of damage. Big H is right in they go camels bodies flying it is a spectacular showcase big central win though four more as you can see lots of yellow banners there here comes another big eight doing what they need to do got a cycle charge with those men don't want to keep them lingering since there is a route there a sabian camel cataphrag down for ragnar and look at this armored camel spearman way off in the distance uh hopefully he can get him back into battle swiftly going to need him but it is all yellow. My goodness. Look at that. The central complete, a complete victory. As these armored camel spearmen trying to get in. Ragnar hoping for his uh, second semifinal appearance in Total War League. I believe it is his second. He's made it to the, uh, to the semifinals. I don't believe he's made it to the finals. He's been taking down the semis every time. So needs to uh, start off strong here, but it's not looking good. His three slingers are, uh, they're looking a little bit out of place. They're about to take a big hit. And I cannot wait to witness this gigantic strike as Ragnar's general completely committed. Only thing he can do there. The slingers are going to die soon. I like how they are targeting the general. The general at 46, I'm waiting for them to turn and deal all the damage of the world. Here comes a cataphract. It's time. And even here comes a marauder. Oh boy. Those axe marauders guys, very good unit. If you if you're Samba, what a solid unit to bring in. They're in Big Oh my god. That's a lot of damage. Right into the enemy. Striking. Killing. Gnawing. Gnashing. Because this one is certainly all ogre. All that left standing is the general and a few troops on the left. But when that general dies, a morale goes by. Just made that slogan up. You can thank the emperor later. Let's eat. Eat. More taking game number one. Let's take a peek at his stats. There they are. Wait, did I miscount? Okay, I thought was, I was getting confused by this guy's javelin. He did have three Sabians. So the melee spam with the Sabians proved deadly. It was too much for Ragnar. And melee, I mean, melee spam has been quite the uh, the, the focal point here uh, in Total War League. We'll see if next season we implement a cap. I need to consult the gods, aka Hamilcar Barca, probably. Uh, maybe change the rules there, but we'll see. Ragnar gave it, a, gave it a go. More cataphracts, more cavalry, more slingers. The slingers are decent, just uh, they're unable to use all their ammo. And they took a deep dive off the cliff. And also, Ragnar only brought 18 troops. Uh, I think that a big thing, especially if you're new to the game, trying to bring 20 troops would definitely help out. But alas, it is finished. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Comment on this video. Let's get this Let's get this uh, uh, Total War League on the map. Alas, glory be upon the inglory to the Empire.